everybody and welcome to another video. This one is a little bit different. It is a do-it-yourself art project of all things. And it's based on Dungeons and Dragons. If you guys have followed my blog, you might be able to tell some of the influences of D&D. I play it a lot. I even wrote a whole research paper on it for my uh, witchcraft class. So D&D is pretty interesting to me. And whenever we play, we all roll up trinkets. Trinkets are chosen by rolling a pair of d10s, or essentially a d100, to pick a trinket from a list. You are assigned whichever one you have, and you can either make up a backstory for it, or just have it. Well, my latest character is Juliana Hollow, a fighter pirate based on my role-playing character. You can read all about her on my blog. There will be a link in the description. Maybe there'll be a nice picture of her right here. And she is definitely one of my favorite characters ever. And when we rolled her up, she had a very specific trinket. I believe it was trinket 84, a orb with a clockwork fish inside of it. And I loved the idea, so I decided to go ahead and make my own. So, this is going to be my first ever time trying to make this, and hopefully your guys's. I haven't seen any sort of guides on how to make one of these because I don't think anybody else is insane like me. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Here are the things that you'll need. First of all, you'll need plastic, fillable ornaments. These are really common, and I found them at Hobby Lobby, but they have them all over the internet. They come in two halves and then fit together nicely. We could glue these, but I'm not 100% sure how that's gonna work. So we'll see. I went ahead and bought two of them just in case we mess up. So for now, we're gonna set these to the side. You will also need a fish to swim around in. It's not a gold fish, but it is a pink fish. It is actually part of the Hexbug line and it's an Aquabot. I just found this at Barnes & Noble quite a while ago and I'm a little worried about the size of it, but I think it should be fine. Also, in case the fish sinks directly to the bottom, we need something to hold it to the top. And this is just a nice line of fishing thread. So, we're going to keep this nice and handy. I also thought about maybe wanting to make it look a little bit more like water. So, I went ahead and bought some extra fine teal glitter. In retrospect, I realized that most of the glitter will just sink directly to the bottom, but I guess we're going to have to find out. What else you'll need is probably some paper towels, just in case there's spillage. One pitcher of water. This is just mainly for you guys, as I'm going to have our little fish swim around in it until it's ready. And another pitcher of water, which is where we're actually going to fill the orbs, because the top of it is just the right size. I already have made a use for the paper towels. Let's start by opening our fish. So, here is our little fish. Let's try to get it out of its packaging nice and carefully. One fin at a time. And here it is. Let's see how well it fits inside the orb. Nice and perfectly, that's awesome. So you definitely want the three or four inch large orbs. Now, we're just gonna set this guy and see if he swims. Oh, he's wonderful. Can you make him stop? Well, he is definitely trucking. So, this means that our fish is absolutely perfect. Look at him go! Alright, you. Ah! Come here. Uh oh. Alright. So, oh! Looks like this fish is absolutely ready to go into this water. Now, we're gonna try to catch him. Here 
Here we go. Let's see how bad it leaks. Pretty badly. All right. It could definitely use a little scotch tape. So I'm gonna set it in the water and we're gonna go get some. All right, so we caught the fish. I'm gonna try to add a little bit more water since a lot fell out. Oh my gosh, I got it full. All right, now I'm going to add a layer of scotch tape all the way around the seam to make sure that it stays nice and closed. A little bit of scotch tape. My ornament exploded, so I'm gonna have to re-catch this fish. I'm gonna add a little bit more water from this one to this one, and we're gonna try again. Awesome, there we go. We've got a new one, and we're gonna tape it up so that it doesn't do that. Here we go. Dry off my hand, dry off the outside of the orb. there you have it. You have a fish swimming around inside of a little glass orb, even though it is actually plastic. Something cool you can do is you can get some nifty string and thread it on through, and you can have it hanging from a lovely piece of string. Hopefully this thing is nice and sturdy. I absolutely hope so, because this was really cool to make. And if you guys managed to make one, I would love to see how yours turns out. The nice thing is it swims all on its own and it manages to stay about in the right place. We didn't end up having to use the glitter or the second orb, so you guys can spend about $2 and whatever it costs to buy the fish. Thank you guys so much for watching. Fishy and I say bye bye. Have a lovely day. Oh God, he's dripping. <laughs> bye. Also, I have tons of big news. Tomorrow, which is the day after I film this, not the day after I upload it, because I will probably be editing this video on the plane, I will be flying on a plane for alone for the very first time. So there will be lots of vlogging, lots of cool stuff to see, and all sorts of good stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I hope you're looking out. I also have an Undertale and a Pokemon theory on the way, as well as a video about my very own Pokemon Gym. These have taken a little bit of time because I'm actually scripting them out and I'm actually having to, um, you know, move, so I'm in the process of that. None of them have been filmed yet, but they are definitely in the works. I've even done a little bit of recording of uh, footage. So, if you guys want to see those videos as soon as they come out, make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, a like is super duper helpful, helpful and awesome. And comment! I want to know what you guys really like. Maybe if you guys have a favorite D&D trinket, I can try to make it in real life. My little fish is chattering away.
So I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will enjoy the upcoming many videos that are on the way. See you guys later and I hope you have a lovely day. Mwah. Wonderful.